America. But first, James Carville, the raging Cajun, just a couple weeks away from Mardi Gras, by the way, with some lovely comments about the GOP following Joe Biden's State of the Union. You know, I told people I have a clue of a PhD in white trashology, and you saw real white trash on display. Mm. And let me say something about Congressman Marjorie Taylor Greene. She dresses like white trash. She really needs a fashion consultant. Could I recommend George Santos? He, he could do a good job of, of dressing up where she doesn't announce her white trashdom. The, the, the level of white trashdom in the Republican Party is, is just staggering. I mean, for somebody that has observed it for a long time like I have, it, it, I've never seen it manifest itself on the level that it's manifesting itself. White trashed him. Uh, for more on that, let's welcome back in commentary editor for the Washington Times, Kelly Sadler, Project 21 National Advisory Board member, radio host Christopher Arps, and former Deputy Press Secretary at the White House, Hogan Gidley. Uh, Chris, your reaction to those comments? Well, you know, James Carville has amused me for years, ever since the uh, Clinton administration. And he seems to like that word white trash, because if you remember during the Paula Jones episode, I mean, he used that same term about dragging a dollar bill through a uh, trailer park. And no matter no matter what you might come up with. So <laughs> I just find this uh, just Forgot very hilarious that, yeah, that right. he loves that term. Yeah. Kelly? <laughs> You know what? I, I mean, I, what, what do you say about this? I mean, the lack of decorum, <laughs> I guess, has been, you know, talked about uh, in the press in regards to Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene calling the president a liar. But State of the Union, did we forget the last, you know, six years with uh, President Trump? I mean, Democrats walked out. They booed. Nancy Pelosi ripped up the speech uh, after it was given. Uh, this is this has been this is just the way things are uh, nowadays, unfortunately. But it, it is just the way things are. And it's not it's not just one party. It's both. Hogan, is the heckling here to stay with these State of the Union addresses? Look, they do it in the British Parliament. Um, and and it, it happens, it seems to happen without any major problems there. You know, yesterday we had Mark Halperin on, and, and he said this is, you know, there should be decorum. Um, and I said, well, you know, if one party does it, when the other party gets their guy or gal, I should say, in the White House, uh, they're going to do the same thing. Is this now the new norm, rowdier State of the Union addresses? Rob, first things first. Listen, I'm not taking a lecture on how people should dress, whether they be Republican <laughs> or Democrat, from a man who has on a weird, weirdly shaped Rex hat and a Mardi Gras bead shirt, in essence, <laughs> looking like a clown on television. Rex, look, so my, my in-laws in in could be watching in New Orleans. Right now. They're from, my wife's look, from New Orleans. That Rex is a parade down in Mardi Gras, so I got to defend I, Mardi I Gras. Know what, I, know, I know what it is. Yeah. Look how ill-shaped it is. Look at his weirdo <laughs> shirt. Get that his rugby it shirt. does look odd. I yeah. get it. I get it. But let's not throw stones when you live in a glass house, uh, first and foremost. Now, as, as far as your question and concern about D.C. decorum, it's been gone for a long time. We're just now seeing Republicans begin to fight back. I'm sorry that Marjorie Taylor Greene shouted out, but Joe Biden was, in fact, lying, much like when Joe Wilson shouted at Barack Obama that people who came to this country illegally and unlawfully were not going to get uh, health care uh, the, the congressman from South Carolina shouted out, you lied. It was a big scandal. Turns out he was absolutely right, and Barack Obama was lying. Listen, I get it. People want decorum. They want there to be some high-minded thing. But if the left is going to go this low, I don't know why Republicans should take the high road and just be quiet here, because we've been taking it in the teeth for long enough, and it's time some people fight back. Do I like them shouting out during the thing? Not necessarily. But I went to a joint session of Congress last night, and British Parliament broke out. And quite frankly, I'm here for it, and I'm fine with it. Of course, the left is going to slant it and say we're all we're all white trash, like James Carville said, and we're all bad for shouting out. Right. I'm sorry, but the president of the United States was lying to the American people about a position Republicans did not hold. And I'm fine if they're going to stand up and say, I'm sorry, Mr. President, you're not telling the truth. Look, a rowdier State of the Union is going to juice the ratings, too. Guarantee it. We don't have the numbers yet from Tuesday night. We'll get them today. But I guarantee that, that that's going to people will watch if it's a little bit more interesting, a little more compelling. And I thought it was on Tuesday night. Um, OK, something else that's interesting and compelling is happening over at CNN. Wow. Uh, what a train wreck that that network has been for, for a while. Just a complete disaster. The morning show. Um, normally, I wouldn't talk about the morning show, but Don Lemon. Poppy Harlow, Caitlin Collins, 
Uh, they don't seem to be getting along. Don Lemon and Caitlin Collins uh, have had a very public spat. Caitlin Collins interviewed James Comer, who's been on Wake Up America several times, uh, particularly over the last few months. Um, and this is the... Put it this way, I've worked with people that I've liked more than others. Happens everywhere. Happens if you work at State Farm. Happens if you work at the Washington Times or if you're on the radio. Um, it happens. If it happens if you work at the White House. Take a look at how Don Lemon dismisses an interview that Caitlin Collins had just had with James Comer in the ensuing exchange between Lemon and Poppy Harlow. This is the time that we're in where facts are sort of flexible. And That's why just, we got Caitlin Collins on the Hill fact-checking in real time. It was a great interview. Citing incredible sources, like citing the New York Post as a credible source and saying that facts are, it's just, I, I can't believe that we're here. Caitlin, that was a, a great interview. All right, moving on. Um, anyway, well, now moving on, because that's, listen, that's a big issue when it comes to the American, hold on, please, with the music. Okay, did you see that? Uh, the music started started playing because the, the the folks in the back, the producers are like, uh oh, uh oh, we got a code red here. We got a code red. Start playing the music. Uh, and then Lemon said, whoa, whoa, hold on. And then he went on and on. Poppy Harlow defended Caitlin Collins. Um, I'll tell you what, there's an egg timer on that. This new CNN morning show. Kelly, your reaction. Um, Don Lemon needs to be fired. He needed to be fired a long time ago. He is not uh, a journalist at all. He's a political activist uh, for the left. He doesn't know what facts are. Uh, to say that the New York Post is not a credible source, he doesn't have any idea about the Twitter files. He has no idea about the Hunter Biden laptop scandal, Joe Biden's you know, foreign influence peddling. He has no interest in pursuing any of those stories. And as such, he is not curious in investigating and holding this administration in account uh, he should be let go, Chris, period, end of story. Uh, Chris, and it's dismissive, by the way, of his colleague, Caitlin yeah. Collins, and, and, and his other colleague there. Um, but what do you make of that? Let's just remind everyone that, that Hunter Biden himself has said the laptop is real. The laptop belonged to him. Now, there's a debate about the contents of the laptop. But that, that story is over. That storyline is over. I think what we're seeing from Don Lemon, Don Lemon is another example of why he continues to keep his job, because he checks off two marks. He's black and he's gay. Yeah. If it was anybody else, he would have had been fired. And I don't see how his colleagues work with him. He, this is the second or third time he has dismissed them um, on public, or on public, on air. And it seems that CNN's uh, remake of trying to come more to the center, according to the ratings, is not working. Yeah, I feel it's so awkward. Much, okay, um, Rob, Hogan, go ahead. Much like, much like I'm not going to take fashion advice from James Carville, <laughs> I'm not going to take what's true advice from Don Lemon and the good people over at CNN, who've missed story after story, got so scooped, by the way, by the New York Post on the Hunter Biden laptop, still refuse to say it's real yeah. and continue to shift what they deem as being news. When the rest of America is concerned about certain things, CNN buries it, covers it up because they want their liberal agenda to be the news, not what is reality. Good point. All right. The Hill with some reporting yesterday following the State of the Union about who are the leading Democrats if Joe Biden decides he's not running again. Kamala Harris, number one, 32 percent, Kelly, Number two, <laughs> Hillary Clinton, 20%. Oh, no. Could this happen? No, it's not going to happen. I mean, look at the New, the New York Times did a story on Kamala Harris. She couldn't get her surrogates, her allies, to say anything positive about her um, and that they don't have any hope for her. So it's not going to be Kamala Harris. It's not going to be Hillary Clinton. Her time is gone. It is going to be Joe Biden. He was on the campaign trail just yesterday in Wisconsin. He's going to Florida today. His State of the Union was basically saying, like, we, I haven't gotten the job done. Let's get the job done. Um, and so that's going to be his campaign slogan going into 2024. It's going to be Joe Biden. All right. We will pick this back up top of the hour. Kelly Sadler, Hogan Gidley, Chris Arps. Appreciate it. See you soon.